About one month ago, one of my friends called me on the phone to ask how he could make money on the internet. Yeah, this guy knows that I have businesses on the internet, which makes me a reasonable amount of money, so he wanted to be like me. To be frank with my friend, I told him that there's nothing like making money online. I explained to him that the internet is just like a platform which gives an individual the opportunity to contribute to the world. People don't just make money online, we make money by contributing in some way. I then asked my friend to send me a WhatsApp message that contains whatever solutions he thinks is capable of creating, so that I can help him with my experience and create a business around such. That was the end of our conversation. My friend never sent me any message. You see, John D. Rockefeller said and I quote, If your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. Think about that. If your only goal is to become rich, you'll never achieve it. Most people in the world are like my friend I earlier told you about. They want to make money. They want to be rich. That's it. Unfortunately, until you have a goal that's a little higher than wanting to be rich, you can't be rich. Money doesn't follow wishes. Money doesn't follow goals. Money only follows contributions. So when people focus solely on making money, they end up becoming poorer. What can you contribute? What can you give to the world? What can you change? If your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. Anger and Money Around the year 2012, I became very angry about a particular thing and I decided to write a book as regards that. I wrote this book with my little phone and proofread it with a rented desktop computer. Of course, I wasn't expecting anyone to like my book. I just wanted to pour out my anger so I could be free. If anyone had told me that 1,000 people would read that book, I wouldn't have believed it. But that book went on to get to the hands of more than 300,000 people. Wait a moment, because I'm going somewhere. A few years after this, I thought about a subject many people seem to be interested in and decided to write a book on that, hoping such a book will make me a lot of money. I was wrong. I doubt if the book I thought everyone would read got to the hands of 200 people. What's the point in my story above? You see, as an entrepreneur, I've seen this play out again and again. I've seen people wanting to create a certain product, book or services solely because of making money and ended up with no money while this other guy who is just angry and passionate ends up making millions. If your only goal is to become rich, you would never achieve it. Think about what you're angry about. Think about what you want to be different. Think about what you'd like to change in your society. That's where a lot of money lies for you. That's where you can make a lot of money. Wait and think about this. When you're angry about something, you're very much likely to be passionate about getting rid of such things. When you're passionate about making a change happen, then you'll become more creative than anyone who wants to compete with you because passion leads to enthusiasm and happiness, while happiness leads to higher creativity. If your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. Happiness Advantage in his book, Happiness Advantage, Sean Anker cites different research studies which show that happy people do better work, are more creative, and achieve more in life. For example, one of those studies showed that human brains perform as much as 30% better when we are enthusiastic compared to when we are bored by our work. You don't even need a scientific study to know this. You're likely to sleep less if you like your job. You're likely to work a lot harder when you enjoy what you're doing. You're likely to convince other people to support you or invest in your business if you're passionate about such business than if you're not. Now, what happens when people run solely after money is that they choose to do what they think will give them money, not what they are passionate about. Few months into their hustle, they find out that it's harder to wake up early in the morning. It's hard to give their best to their work. The whole thing simply seems like some horrible labor. Nobody can get rich in such state. People who get really rich don't need an alarm to wake up at 4 a.m. because they are passionate about their work. People who get rich are those whose work seem like a game, not like labor because they don't feel like they're making money. Instead, these people feel like they're contributing to make the world a better place. If your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. Becoming rich by mistake A few months ago, I was listening to Marcus Brownlee. For those who don't know him, Marcus Brownlee is the most popular tech YouTuber in the world. This guy has become so popular that the likes of Elon Musk, Bill Gates or any tech entrepreneur for that matter need him to talk with them and about their product. If I say he's a multi-millionaire, so many people want to know how, but just go check out his channel and you see his 2.3 billion views. Okay, what then can anyone learn from this guy? 
Well, I heard from him that after he had made 100 videos on YouTube, he only had about 76 subscribers. Wait, you're watching this video on YouTube, so you know that I do know how difficult it is to make a video. Do you know how difficult it is to make 100 videos? Okay, this guy was in school, so he probably needed 2 years to make those 100 videos. And all he could get was 76 people who thought he was doing a good job? Well, if that guy has started a YouTube channel with the sole aim of making money, he must be an idiot to continue making videos. But he had something else pushing him, and that is, he loves to talk about technology. While setting a goal to make a million dollars is not a bad thing, such a goal must be pursued around what you can do for free. If money alone is the reason why you wake up in the morning, you'll never have it. If your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. What if my passion brings me no money? I know you've heard a lot about following your passion, and I also know that everyone in the world will do it if it were as easy as it sounds. While most of us have something we're passionate about, many of those things we're passionate about are our hobbies. And we can't just see how money can come out of such things. What do you do in such a situation? Become more resourceful and more adventurous. You see, passion is not a one-time thing. What you truly love to do isn't just a single thing. Instead, there are a handful of things that can get you passionate, but you probably have never tried. I like to think about this the way I think about food. Your favorite meal as at the time of watching this video is going to be determined by the number of foods you've been exposed to in your lifetime. If you take a step further to get exposed to more foods, then the meals you think you like most can be different. So it is with our passion. If what you're passionate about right now is watching movies, well, I'm not aware of how anyone makes money sitting down in front of the TV. But I do know that if you can stand up and lay your hands on a few other things, you can find one of those that make you feel great and at the same time has a possibility of making you money. If your only goal is to become rich, you would never achieve it. In conclusion, if running after money for the sole purpose of having money makes us rich, more people in the world would have become millionaires. But that's not the case. The truth is that most people who are billionaires today are those who are angry about something. These people think something should be different. They think something should be changed. They think something is stupid and they are willing to apply themselves as solutions to such problems. Yes, the dream of becoming a millionaire isn't itself a bad idea. What makes it bad is if your dream of getting wealthy is solely for the purpose of wealth creation. You have to figure out something you're angry about. You have to identify something you wish you could be done differently. You have to see yourself as a change maker, a revolutionary who's on the mission of contributing to the world and making this place a better place. Most people die poor because they run after money for money's sake. If your only goal is to become rich, you'll never achieve it. If your only goal is to become rich, you'll die poor. Let your goal be to make a difference, contribute, make life easier for some of us, and you have more money than you ever need. I hope this video helps someone. My name is Steve Courage. I'm a Nigerian entrepreneur based in Lagos. If you wish to know more about me, see my face or consume videos I make with my face, check the description box and join my new channel. I love you.